if you grew up in the 70s and you were halfway decent at math and science, I think everyone just said, oh, you ought to be a doctor. A lot of it probably had to do with just growing up, um, having some family health issues that, that you see and you live with and you go through and it profoundly influences how you do things and, and what you might want to be. For medical school rotation, I got the bug, the cardiac bug, and, and started uh, doing some time on the cardiac surgery service. And we take some of the sickest people in the world, we take some of the sickest people in this area, of course, and we try every single day to make them better than they were the day before. And I think this institution allows you to do that by whatever means necessary. And patients with routine cardiac matters too. You know, every cardiac operation is serious business. And although we've been able to really get the risk down dramatically over the last 20 years, it's still not zero. So whether it's a 1% risk or a 50% risk, you know, we take every single operation as seriously as the one we did before. And I think the main thing that we have here at New York Presbyterian is a very big team concept. You know, I, I can throw every stitch as well as I can throw it, but without the support of anesthesia and without the support of critical care and nursing, that patient's going to struggle because half the battle's in the operating room and half the battle's in the post-operative period. So cardiac surgery is very much a team sport. There is no one individual that can run away with things and make it perfect because at the end of the day, you have to rely on others to help get the job done. And that means not just the day of surgery, but for the next week that they're in the hospital. Every single day, everybody's got to be on top of their game. Everybody has got to be delivering the best care possible and taking personal responsibility for that. And I think everybody does. It is a real commitment to excellence here. There are probably many physicians that at New York Presbyterian that have had many opportunities to move on to other institutions throughout the country and in the region. And, you know, at times there are some of those opportunities seem like they could be very attractive. But at the end of the day, you know, when you're used to playing in Yankee Stadium, you don't really want to go back to the minors. And for me, anything other than New York Presbyterian is the minor leagues.